हेलो गाइस एस अ पार्ट ऑफ बीटीयू ई शिक्षण प्रोग्राम आई एम गोइंग टू डील विद कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स एंड सिक्योरिटी सब्जेक्ट ऑफ फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर इन दैट वी आर डीलिंग विद द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑफ वन पार्ट इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस द सेकंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ द मॉड्यूल नंबर 1 the same question paper okay without wasting the time let me begin the session with the help of the same question paper and i'll tell you the scheme and solution for the same okay so the second question we have with demonstrate socket implementation using tcp protocol okay so when we have the demonstrate you have to write and they had asked the question for totally for 8 marks whenever you will be having the demonstration you try to write the snippet code of that protocol how the client server communication can be happen with the help of tcp protocol or they may put the question on udp protocol okay based on the type of transport layer protocol you have to write the socket implementation along with the some uh, snippet code i mean small fragment of the code along with the, the structured diagram for the same without wasting the time let me explain you people how you have to write the client server communication will be happened either with the help of tcp protocol or with the help of udp protocol if you want to perform any client server communication we require any one of the transport layer protocol before sending any data with the help of tcp communication or traffic generation uh, protocol we, we have to exchange a message between client and server before sending any data we have to start setting the connection with the help of one important step is called as three way handshake procedure as the name itself indicates using the tcp header bits that is we have some flag bits there using acp bit using syn bit and uh, we have to use three way handshake procedure we have to use those bits to set up the uh, sending the request message and response message and set up the link between the client and server after setting the uh, have a proper communication between client and server we can able to send the data automatically okay so this is the structure diagram for that when we did showing the detailing of from um, you know welcoming the pass socket from the client we have a with help of three band procedure where if the server accept the request uh, the client can able to send the data that can be exchanged between the client and server before having this communication this request communication has to be approved by the server and the client and server communication will happen with the help of these many important methods we have to remember always the first method which we have to remember is called as socket server socket okay or simply we can also call it a socket method socket method mainly consists of this uh, Four parameters. We have to uh, so create a socket, and we have to give the port number, uh, and we have to give the server IP address, and we also have to give the server port number. Okay. So these parameters should be exchanged between the client and server. We can we can see here. You can see here. We have to have the socket method. Once the connection is accepted by the server, the client will keep start sending the request. If the server will not accept the request, directly this will be go to the finish close command, and it will terminate the say, uh, you know uh, process. If the server accept the request, then only the client will send the request. Uh, I mean, uh, set up the connection. Then only the cl client will send the request using the client socket and read the request from the connection socket. And uh, if they are happy, uh, both client and server they can exchange the data with the help of write uh, reply to. and uh, the client will go with read reply from after exchanging the complete data between client and server the client and server close the connection with the help of connection close socket 
okay so this is the important methods that are used to have socket implementation using tcp protocol along with this you can write the snippet required it might be in, the, in any language it might be of java language or it might be of socket uh, programming language any language you can write the small snippet uh, between uh, that can uh, be executed between client and server okay this is all about the first question of the uh, first sub question of the second important question of the question paper we'll go with the second question the second question tells about write a note on web caching write a note on web caching web caching is one of the efficient uh, uh, no, method that is that should be adopted with http protocol to improve the performance of http as the name suggests web caching is one more important method supported by http protocol by which we can improve the the complete efficiency we'll see as it is for four marks the limited answer is fine or some small diagram with limited answer we'll see the asking uh, what complete detail web caching is also called as proxy server is a network entity that satisfies http requests on the behalf of an origin web server the web cache has its own disk storage and keeps copies of recently requested object in the storage the user browser can be configured so that all the user requests are first directed to the web cache instead of directed to the original server example suppose a browser is requesting the object for example something like uh, some school.com or something like this here is what happens what exactly it will have uh, happened the browser establishes a tcp connection with the web cache and sends an http request for an object to the web cache the web cache checks if uh, to see if it has a copy of the object stored locally if it does the web cache returns the object with an http response message to the client browser if the web cache does not have that object he will redirect us to contact the origin so origin server if the web cache does not have the object the web cache open it is connection to the origin server again that is www.someschools.edu the web cache then sends an http request uh, for the same object in the cache to server tcp connection after receiving the request the origin server sends the object with an http response message to the web cache when the web cache receives the object it stores a copy in the local storage and then sends a copy with an http response message to the client browser over the this all works on the over the existing tcp connection between the client and server and the web cache when web cache receives a request from and sends a response to a browser it is a server when it sends a request to and receives responses from the origin server it is a client typically a web cache is purchased and installed by an isp called as internet service provider an example university might install a cache on its campus network and configure all the campus browsers to a point of the point to the cache a major residential isp such as AOL uh, might install one or more caches in the network and reconfigure its shape uh, uh, shift browsers to point to the install cache. Web caching has been deployed in the internet for two reasons. The first reason is a web cache can substantially reduce the response time of the client, and the second is web cache can substantially reduce traffic. An institution access links to the internet. These are the important advantage to perform the important efficiency of HTTP protocol by using web caching. Along with this small explanation, you can write a small you know, diagram which represents how client server works. And as I mentioned here, these are the origin server, servers, this is a proxy server, or else we can also call this web cache, web uh, cache or web server. The HTTP request, if the local objects are stored here itself, 
they will send a request to the local server and get the reply back. If they won't get the reply back, they will send the request to the origin server using the TCP connection uh, of transport layer. This is all about the second sub question of the first question called as web caching. If it is only for four marks, no need to explain with all the examples just what is web caching with an explanation how web caching works with this uh, you know, diagram which is more than enough. If it is more than four marks or seven marks and all, you have to give a typical example which depicts, uh, uh, which depicts the web caching operation. Okay. The third sub question what we have here is you can see here. Uh, illustrate the basic operation of SMTP with an example. Whenever we, uh, and again, this is for four marks, just the interaction that happens between the mail server to the user, that is enough. But if it is for more marks, you have to explain, or you have to elaborate in the greater details. Whenever you heard of this SMTP protocol, which is also one of the important protocol of application layer. The SMTP protocol will be used to send a message from the uh, user agent to the web uh, mail server. Okay, so pop three protocols will be used to distribute the mail from the mail server to the respective user. Okay. Uh, you can see here how exactly SMTP protocol works. SMTP, uh, uh, as the acronym uh, depicts simple mail transfer protocol, transfers messages from single mail server to the recipient mail server. It resects the body of all mail server by obviously by 7 bit hexadecimal or ASCII value. Suppose Alice wants to send a message to Bob with the help of simple ASCII message, Alice invokes her user agent for email Provides Bob email address, for example, compose a message and insert the user again to send the message. Okay. At least user agent sends the message to her mail server when it is placed in a message queue. The client side of SMTP runs on Alice's mail server, frees the message in the message queue, it opens a TCP connection uh, to the uh, SMTP server running on Bob's mail server. After some initial SMTP handshaking, SMTP client sends Ali's message into, uh, into the TCP connection. At Bob's mail server, the server, uh, no, server side of SMTP receives the message, Bob's mail server then places the message in Bob mailbox. Bob invokes his user agent to read the message at, the, at his convenience, whenever he wants, whenever he will be free able to read the message at its own convenience. This is what exactly the important protocols that we are going to explain here. The, uh, the message that uh, exchange between that you design from the user agent to the mail server using the SMTP protocol, user a uh, mail server to mail server using the SMTP protocol, uh, using the from the mail server to respect to uh, user should be happened with the help of pop the protocol, post office protocol. Okay, so let us assume an example trans, uh, 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 that uh, message exchange between SMTP client and SMTP server. We all know that server should be always ready, and obviously it is ready now, right now with this example. So the client will send a message, hello message, hello command to the server. The server will use 250 hello uh, commands uh, uh, to, uh, to you know, send a message or receive a message. And it has to verify the mail address of from and also the two mail address. If the mail address are valid, it will send a message like 250 valid, 250, well, I mean to say 250 space valid brackets, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the content. Similarly, the uh, similarly the receiver also, uh, the ball, it, it will also verify the mail ID and it will send the spin content. Once after sending the complete, uh, verify the complete mail address of the Alice and Bob, the data will be transmitted between sender and receiver with the help of data command. Okay, and after that, you have to send all the required data which you want to exchange between client and server. And at last, the server will send 250 message accepted for delivery. And at last, client will quit the command using quit command, it will terminate the connection with the server.
these are the interactions that is going to happen with respect to client and server in TCP slash IP uh, TCP uh, using uh, SMTP protocol of application layer. Okay. This is all about how exactly SMTP protocol works with the help of uh, you know, uh, different commands. As it is only for four marks, you can write this example and explanation. Okay. So this is all about the first question paper, which I really wanted to discuss. I hope you got some confidence to write the answers and will, and if time permits, if possible, I'll also give uh, the, I'll also solve their gate questions on this particular module. Okay. Thank you so much. We'll see with the next question paper or the next scheme and solution in the next session. Okay. Thank you so much.